Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to transfer or copy data from Grillview to data table. Now I will teach it how to make that. So first of all I need to create one form. Right click, add new item. So web form, just I am click add. So inside web form I need to add one uh, grid view here. Just go to the toolbox in go to data section I will find the grid view here just click here after that double click this grid view here so it will automatically create the grid views now I need to um, create the columns columns so I need to create the manual columns so I need to hide the auto generated column auto generated columns equal to false now I am creating the ASP data bound field bound fields data field equal to and header name I need to find column header where it is I need to put the column header so just a minute for header text just I will give the header text for that I forget the name that's why I am copied here header text and header name I need to put the header name so just I am copy the so so I already have the database called record so once I open the record database here and click the table here inside table I am using the employee table here so employee table I have the uh, columns five columns here so I need to give uh, create the columns for that so just I am give code here code just copy Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. So, name, paste. In header section, you have to paste the any name. I like EMP name, employee name, like that, any name. But, data field section, you have to give the exact name of the your table name. But is here not case sensitive, you can give any name like uh, small or cash, but you have to give the correct name. Age. Amount. Amount. And put save. <coughs> now, I need to add one button here. So just go to table, uh, sorry the toolbar, here click the button here, go to design sections, design section, you have to double click this button, it will create the uh, event for you, uh, click event for you, now just put save here, now go to design section and save inside a code I need to pass the value so if not is post back I'm setting the post back URL here inside a post back URL I'm write the query and before that I am declare using system dot data and using system dot 
data dot sql client and put save here in return uh, sql connection con equal to new sql connections so i need to declare the connection in outside control x outside so i'm just call the connection just click your database and right click uh, and click the properties once you hit the right click and click the properties you will get the connection string and control a and control c just paste in the connection string inside inside the connection string here i am declare sql data adapter sda equal to new sql data adapter here i am write select star from employee employee and comma con i mentioned the connection string here now data table dt equal to equal to new data table sda dot fill dt this is a simple method so you no need to declare the connection open and connection close because you are using the sql data adapter you no need to declare the connection open and close it so using the sql reader sql data reader or sql command then you have to compulsory put the sql uh, connection open and connection close it okay now i'm save the project and click run here so and click run without debugging but it won't come because we need didn't pass the values to grid view so grid view one dot data source equal to dt and grid view one dot data bind and save now just you have to put the refresh here so you will get the all the records from your from our database i have the record to 500 records is in, in this grid view right now i need to copy this uh, all the records into again data table so now i will teach how to copy or how to transfer this grid view data to a data table so first of all i'm changing the name changing the name of button is copy now going to here first I need to uh, create the for each loop I need to declare the data table first so data table cdt copy data table equal to new data table I've declared here I need to create the columns for that so uh, I need to declare one for each loop insert cipient click search of for each here table cell item in grid view dot grid view dot uh, columns columns dot I think columns grid view dot columns so now I will declare 
the column names for our you can change little bit here dot header row dot cells now pass the cells here so we need to pass the cells here now c d t dot columns dot add here item so we have we need to declare the columns dot add items uh, item dot text we need to declare the item dot text here item dot text so now I will declare now this is the columns adding columns now adding the values or rows adding rows now we declare one for each loop here insert recipient visual C sharp for each here declare data row item in d d not uh, grid view one dot uh, rows one dot rows now I'm declare uh, now I'm declare uh, data grid C D dot rows dot add rows dot add here I'm declare the so rows dot add so I am adding the values likewise rows dot add so by cell by cell I need to add the columns so just I am copy those records and paste it into our code here so here table name is data table name is this now item name here to put the item name here so cells dot count table cell so data grid view dot so here I'm just changing the cells dot count header row cells dot count depends upon the cells it will be uh, coming ok here I am just change dt here item dot row index so uh, we have to declare this grid view row I am declared is data row so just and change here right now item dot cell count now row dot item text here I am declaring item text item dot cell six and item dot cells ok now uh, here just put the save I think we done all those things now I am put the debug mode here now I am put the debug mode here so it's working perfect or not we are checking right now just I put run the code
4 so we get all the records from 500 records now unclick the copy button oh, it's not a debug mode right now just click run button run it again just a minute run it again now I click web config modify and debug mode and click run now it's loading so we are already in the debug mode just I remove all the debug modes here I need to declare particular debug mode here so click run so first of all I remove all the debug mode click debug and click delete all breakpoints it will break delete all the breakpoints now I am setting newly breakpoint here end of the line and click run here it's successfully running now I'm click copy it will comes the debug mode here now go to just put the your cursor in data table and click the search icon here so you will get the all the records copied from here so copies from here so you will see the code here okay guys we will meet our next best tutorial bye see you later